Now the markets are up and the S&P and NASDAQ, they're back at record highs. And we had some economic data come out today. And the New York Empire Manufacturing Index, that came in and is in contraction mode for the seventh straight month. Now new orders were basically flat, but the big takeaway in data from this index, in my opinion, was the decline in employment. And that's pretty much spot on with the job announcement cuts that I'm seeing. And we're seeing great economic headlines, but in reality, there's a good portion of this population that's getting handed pink slips and eviction notices. And this economic data is just more proof of that. Now on the commodity front, we have oil moving up. WTI is up almost a buck and a half, just hovering under $80 a barrel. Brent crude is just under $84 a barrel. And this commodity is gonna have to be carefully watched over the next few weeks. Now, the National Hurricane Center has upped their chances, their predictions for a tropical cyclone in the western Gulf of Mexico forming in the next few days. And if that actually happens, we're going to see a lot of production of oil shut in. And all that's going to do, that's going to light a fire under the price of oil. And we might see a good 2 or $3 bump per barrel. And all that's going to mean is more pain at the pump for the U.S. consumer. Now, at the same time, that's going to light a fire under the Fed. Because that's the last thing the Fed needs is inflation going up. And these guys, they're down to saying one rate cut is likely this year. But I don't think that's going to happen. And pretty much a rise in oil, that's going to put a stop to all that rhetoric. And what we're going to be faced with is hiking rates after the election. Because I'm telling you, if oil goes up $10 a barrel, that's pretty much going to be it. That's going to be the signal that these guys, they're going to have to hike rates. Now the precious metals, they're down. And gold is down about $20 an ounce. Agricultural commodities, they're mostly down. But orange juice and coffee, they're up about 1%. And the rest of the market is pretty quiet. The regional bank stocks, they're pretty steady. And we're going to have that holiday midweek. There are a few big name earning reports this week. And we have KB Homes, the home builder, tomorrow morning. And a few big names on Thursday. But other than that, it's pretty quiet. This quick stock market commentary, please like and subscribe.